Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. So, long story short, I'm in Charleston. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. South Carolina. Starting tomorrow morning, deer hunting a couple days with one of my buddies. If we smoke some whitetails, you will definitely see the footage. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully we drop one or two or who knows what we'll get into. I actually bought one unrestricted buck tag and two doe tags. So maximum I get three, minimum I get zero. We'll see how it pans out starting tomorrow. But on my way into Charleston, South Carolina, hey, there's a sportsman's warehouse. We are right here smack in the middle of the deer chasing seasons all across the country. That's literally why I'm here in South Carolina. But always interesting to see what the different places have from state to state. You guys know I answer all your messages. A bunch of you guys say, we've got everything on the shelf. I don't know what y'all are crying about. And then the other half of the people say, we got nothing on the shelves. Where are y'all finding all this stuff? So always interesting to me stopping these places. This is eight hours away from my place, about a little bit more than that. But let's run in here to this sportsman's. And assuming nobody chases me out of the store when I got my camera on, we'll see what they got for some bing bangs and boo lots. I also like looking at the animals. The Sportsman's Warehouse by me has tons of animals. Caribou, whitetail, pronghorn, everything. So hopefully they got some mounts in here too. We'll see what they got in there for mounts. Should be pretty cool. Let's run in here to the Charleston Sportsman's Warehouse. So far, the outside of this one looks a lot cooler than the one by me. They got mountains up there and all kind of cool looking wood and whatnots. Looks like at the entrance, there's even a bear in there. That's pretty cool. I don't think mine has a bear in it. Y'all see that bear? Right at the entrance, they got a moose. Big moose. This is the coolest sportsman's warehouse I've ever been to. They probably got a thousand bows and like a thousand bing bangs. <laughs> Bunch of shells, 12 gauge, 28 gauge. But what I'm hunting is 410 and 20 gauge and I don't see any of that anywhere. These whole two aisles, nothing but shells. We got a 10 gauge. Wait a minute. There's some 20 gauge, but that's in heavy shot. It's hoping for some weaker stuff. That's some high dollar stuff. Probably pass on that. Definitely have a good selection of the boo lots. Definitely picking some stuff up. I'll show you when I get back to the hotel. 204 Ruger 32 grain. Never see that. 40 grain. 220 Swift. Never see that. 65 PRC. Never see that in any stores. Weatherby stuff. 264 Win Mag. 7 millimeter Mauser. 300 Savage. 30 40 Craig. Six millimeter Remington. They got a bunch of stuff in here. 25 out 6, 22, 250, 55 grain, 224 Valkyrie. Six millimeter Creedmoor. 300 Wind Mag. 300 PRC. Bunch of stuff you never see. 338 Ultra Mag. 338 win mag never see that anymore man bunch of really cool mounts in here look at that funky white tail right there muskox got a badger down there Sheep, mountain lions, big old bow shop over here, crossbows too, 
tons of targets and decoys and all that stands whatever this place is set up for lots of hunting yep I'm blaming it on my buddy Tim this bag right here 450 beans but they had stuff in there that you really can't find anywhere so we had to spend the 450 beans so we could make the videos on the boo lights but let me get back to the a room at the hotel and uh, all right, I got some lights on y'all can see what I'm talking about show you what all I got all right guys so I'm back at the hotel and I'm super excited to show you what I found I didn't even show you everything in the store there because the employees were like right there and it's always super weird to be filming in a store and people are like watching you just try it sometime and pretend you're filming a video or film a video it's just really weird. It's weird. Normally when I'm filming stuff, I'm all by myself, just like this. I can be myself, do whatever I want. But they had tons of stuff that I haven't seen in a store in two years. You know, you know what happened two years ago. Anyways, <laughs> let me show you what I got. Super, super excited. Like I said, only cost me 450 beans. And how many boxes did I get here? Hmm. There's the receipt. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, 450 beans. Let's start off with this one right here. I definitely need to get the 204 Ruger out. You guys that are 204 Ruger fans, definitely going to be doing some 204 Ruger videos real soon. 32 Grainers, Fiokis. I didn't even know they made 204 Ruger. That stuff's going over 4,000 feet per second. That's going to be awesome. So we got 204 Ruger. Comment video ideas down below for 204 Ruger. What's next? This stuff is a straight up unicorn. And judging by the this box, this box was probably loaded like a long time ago. They do not use this packaging. They haven't used this packaging in quite a while. You guys know what I'm talking about. I have some Corlock boxes that look just like this that are like probably 15 years old. But this is some, I had to grab this. You guys that mess with 338 Wind Mag know what I'm talking about. 225 grain Corlock 338 Wind Mag. I haven't seen this stuff on a shelf in three years. It's really hard to get. This was the most expensive box, by the way. I'll show you the receipt here in a second. There you go. There's the core locked 225 grain 338 wind mag. I've never seen core locked in 338 wind mag. I would assume they still load it. Uh, but yeah, you know I'm a big Remington fan. You know I had to grab that 338 wind mag. Never see that stuff anymore. Then uh, the other four boxes of blue lights are all in the same cartridge which are, let me stack them here in the right order. <clears throat> this stuff I've never ever once seen in the store, never. Two of the Hornady Match, one of the Precision Hunter, and one of the Barnes Vortex. But, what cartridge? Well, I'm fixing to show you. And this might give you a, a hinkling into the future of some stuff we're gonna be filming that I haven't shown you yet because I don't have the boo light slinger yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on getting me one of these right here, 6.5 PRC. These are 147 grain ELDs, 6.5 PRC. This baby will go to a mile, no problem. 6.5 PRC is literally the only cartridge that I've ever hit a target at a mile. My buddy Alabama Arsenal, we were out at the range uh, flinging him a mile. He's a, he said that one's dialed in uh, I want to say it was a Bergara. I can't remember. No, it might have been the Springfield Waypoint. He said, uh, lay down prone, just have at it. The scope's already dialed, and I boom, hit it first try. Not a joke. Uh, so, we're definitely going to try to do that again. But first, I got to get the Boo Light Slinger. And then, this is the same stuff. 6.5 PRC, except the ELDX 143 green. I might as well show you one. 
these are the hunting boo lights so uh, we take the 65 PRC we might take that stuff you might have never seen 65 PRC it's another one of those short fat ones real high BC I might as well show you the BC's um, on these things if you missed the video I did a video the other week talking about 65 PRC and 300 PRC and comparing them we're gonna do more on that but the BC on this is 0.697 on the G1 scale that's ridiculous that's ridiculous so we had two boxes of matching PRC one in Precision Hunter this is so goofy me filming this from the hotel but we're chasing deers and that's part of it I'm just bringing y'all along with me on the adventure and then I did not know they were loading this, but I saw it on the shelf and had to have it. Check it out. 6.5 PRC. 6.5 PRC. 130 grain. This stuff's got to be screaming. This says muzzle velocity of 3,000 feet per second. That's booking it. But, might as well show you how much all this stuff cost me in the beans department hold on let me flip this camera around uh remember this is the charleston south carolina sportsman's warehouse so that barnes was 85 beans the 65 prc match was 54 there's those 338 wind mags Woo! 106 beans my goodness and then those uh hornady Precision Hunters were a dollar more, 55 beans. Then that box of 50 Fiocchis was 56 bucks with a total all the way down to 446 beans. Woo, son. But there you have it, guys. Bringing you along on one of my adventures. Six boxes of Boo Lots, 450 beans. Woo. But hey, gotta have it. Gotta have the boo lights to feed the bing bangs to film the videos. Appreciate y'all watching. Anybody ever tells you to start making a YouTube channel, man, it's expensive, let me tell you. Ask my wife. She's the one that pays my credit card bill. She does all the bookkeeping and all that. <laughs> the, uh, the credit card is not going to be happy this month. But hey, all that being said, truly, truly appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Got the notifications on. We have a new video every single night, guys. Every single night. If you didn't know that, hope to see you in the chat. Stay tuned. All this stuff is going to be in some videos coming real, real soon. Probably next week. I don't know. But appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one. Woohoo!